Alright, if you watched yesterday's tutorial, you know we have covered how to create this effect, which is really cool. Today we're going to take a look on how to create the text transition. So, um, actually we're going to use things that we did in the yesterday's tutorial for today's tutorial actually, and that's um, the source power here. So right here we have um, our source, line source, actually we're going to use this effect to cover, uh, well to use it to, to reveal our text, so uh, let's get started. So we're going to use this line source to reveal our text, so if you don't know how to create this, be sure to check out the tutorial from yesterday, and then today we're going to create our text. So uh, create a new composition, um, make it title, comp, whatever. 10 seconds long should be fine and click OK. And here we're going to enter our text. So I'm going to enter tolerated store.com. Make it a little bit bigger. So semi bold or yeah, semi bold is okay. And I'm going to place it somewhere. Well, actually, I'm going to align it. So go to the align tab and center it up like so. Go to the uh, light source and just use. Well, let's actually just duplicate everything. So we're going to um, duplicate our light source composition. Um, and also, actually, these are these have the same names. So that's not really a, a smart ID. Um, but just make sure you have um, two of these. So it should be fine. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Okay, there we go. So we can delete this one. And now we have light source two and four. Um, well, yeah, um, that's all we need. Okay, so go back to the title comp and we're going to apply, uh, well, use the uh, uh, first line source here with the mask effect here. And instead of using, well, and instead of just becoming a circle, we needed to fill the whole frame. So um, jump into that composition and press U on the keyboard. Maybe use, uh, well, select these keyframes and just make it two seconds instead of one. Go to these keyframes and just make sure it's a lot bigger. So just increase the mask expansion. Also, you can increase the feather. Uh, a lot more feather is going to give more detail to your text. Um, but it's, uh, it depends on whatever you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to use a, a little bit of feather. And later on, we, we can see if it works or not. So then go. Actually, I'm going to rename this just to um, light source original for the text. And light source effects text okay so now we know it's for the text go to the well close this go to the tile comp and here we are going to add our light source effects text and let's drag that on there and here we can see that actually it should be uh, resizing but if we jump into that we still have the old light source here so hold control select both of these layers light source and click on the light search, uh, source original text, hold alt and drag it on the, those layers and that way it's going to fill up the frame like so. Go to the uh, title comp and here we're going to make it alpha matte. Okay, so now we have our text and it's revealing itself like so. Right now, I'm also going to pre-compose my title here. So I'm going to select everything, layer pre-compose, title text. All right, so here I have my title. And actually, I'm going to duplicate it. And also, I'm going to pre-compose this here. So I'm going to uh, title text edge. I'm going to call it title uh, text edge. Click OK. And then we're going to open up that uh, layer here. And here we need to create a new solid, make it a black background. And we're going to place that on the bottom here and right click adjustment a new adjustment layer put that on the top of everything go to effect color correction colorama and here we can see uh, it's doing crazy stuff uh, but if we go to the output cycle and change this to ramp gray and just drag this to the bottom here we're going to get some effects here so we're going to get to see something like this um, and you can play around with everything. If we change this to full, we are going to see more detail here. Um, but this is actually what we want. So if we go back to our tile comp, we see that we have our edge. And if we change the mode to screen, um, we're not going to see much uh, changing here. But if we click on that effect, go to effects, color correction, tritone, and let's say we give it a orange color here. 
click OK and also make this full so we can actually see it. Um, if we install this and just at the transition phase you're going to see that we get these colors so and um, these are going to show on top of our text so without and with and now we can also add some glow so go to stylize add some glow and duplicate your glow and you know the drill so just increase everything lower the intensity even more and just do it this way and actually we have to lower this also There we go, there we have it. So now we have that nice transition uh, that will show your text with some nice glow on the edges and I really like that effect, so it's pretty cool. Essentially you could also duplicate your first text layer, make uh, the first text layer generate fill bl um, not black and offset our white here and that way we get these uh, more black edges near our text that's also looking pretty cool so now it's really like our text is burning on the screen okay and let's preview this really sexy actually <laughs> I'm really in love with this effect to um, yeah get some text on the screen all right so that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website it has a great amount of cool stuff so a link will be in the description if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and goodbye <laughs>